projects ma with one project is not at all sufficient for us so we want to write a multiple projects okay so the first project will go for a payroll project okay so this is like a uh, what you want to learn is first uh, how you will write your html code this is already we know that we are going to write it that is not a problem okay but how we are going to integrate how we are going to save our form to the back end how you will save your uh, back end to the back end because whenever you are saving only then only it is useful otherwise it's not useful right so far we we have done with the form attribute with the form attribute right form is the action is equal to something we have done but we are not going to do that way in the real time projects okay we are going with a different way with the rest apis so how we will save this form and uh, so first we will have a one link okay website and where we'll have a registration and uh, sign up so this is your registration page you will enter all these details and uh, once you have created account you will go to sign in page so you can click your enter your username and password it will uh, see this button is disabled now we have, we did not disable the button in the html right so we are going to do all these validations and click on next okay so once you are clicking next what will happen is it will go to the next page okay so this is your first page okay so this is the left side and uh, now bar this is a there is no header here this is like old way we are writing header now this is a new template where we are going to follow here okay so here we'll have a three tabs company employees and reports okay and here you need to say which user you are logging in and you need to display one image also over there okay and here we'll have a settings and other things so and whenever we are uh, like here company is there when we are clicking company we need to see what is the company details like uh, suppose uh, here uh, think like uh, we, we are a trinits company we want to generate a pay slips for you because how you are, if you are coming for 30 days we want to give a 30 day salary to you but that is the information i want to uh, hear so here i will add a company trinit something so by default there is no company right i want to add a company that is the reason here there is a add company button is there right i will click on add company so whenever i am clicking add company uh, it will show a form like this a pop up okay another pop up or another screen uh, here i will write, i will enter my details what is my company name what is the company details and everything i will add it okay so let me do it like this i will enter it okay once i am entering it click on save automatically what will happen is uh, this will go to the uh, that entry will be added in the table and the dialog box will be closed okay so now we'll go for next page here employees will be there when i'm clicking employees so employees page will be coming here also same by default all employees will be uh, displaying here and i'm clicking on add employee again a dialog box will be appearing okay so an employee form so again you can enter your data and click on save this save will add it here okay so once you are saving it suppose i want to delete this employee there is a checkbox right uh, okay uh, you can select this or you can this dot dot is there right when you are clicking this dot on drop down will be coming and you can add a delete button and you can add a edit also so we are going to support all these things okay and next we'll go for a next page okay so and uh, here uh, suppose what i want to do i want to generate a payslip for the uh, one guy example first employee so company name i will select it here uh, com what is the company name and what is my employee name i will select it here and for which month we want to pay slip we'll select it here and how many number of working days he came for office so we will add it and we'll click on submit so automatically there is a pay slip will be coming like this okay so this is a company and this all details you have entered in the previous pages so you should not hard code ma uh, we know you uh, you are specialist in the html we will write it uh, whatever it is there we don't want to do this this should be dynamic that is the reason we are going for a angular okay uh, here everything should be even image should be dynamic this detail should be dynamic everything will be coming from back end only we should not write it from anything okay so this page and finally when you are clicking this button uh, it should open a print okay suppose if i am opening a print like this this dialog is there right like this a dialog should coming and you should take a print out so it, it will a print out so this is the project we are going to do for first okay once this is done and then we'll go for a second project like a training management or whatever we are going to do so you understood right what we are going to do okay so as part of the project what are the components we have it ma so here we can think like this is one screen so this is a one screen and another uh, go for next screen there are multiple screens are there right okay and here we are uh, this left side is there and this right side is there we are going to have a multiple screens okay we are going to work on this multiple screens okay so this is the work okay now uh, let us go to our project okay so now we are going to we have to ready with our sign up and we have to ready with the sign in right okay so let us we'll go one by one and we'll build it okay okay so first now we have created our 
project man okay so i have created my project okay now my project is done uh, what i have i have opened in a uh, visual studio code okay some people what they are trying to do here is uh, they are opening in a wrong way ma okay suppose how they are opening is uh, open folder so where is my project name ma payroll is there right they have to select the payroll and select folder instead of that what people are trying to do is uh, i'll go to back so this angular folder is there inside the angular folder all projects are there they they are not going inside here directly they are selecting this one and select folder okay so if you are selecting like this all projects are coming in here but whenever you are opening in a terminal okay open in a terminal please see up to where you are there only angular apps you are not there in the real project what is your project name payroll now here they will type uh, what is the project to start ma ng serve hyphen hyphen open okay they will type like this and there is an error it will be coming like this okay uh, this command is not available during the outside of the workspace okay you will get it you are getting this error because you are not running this command inside the project you are running this command in the outside of the project you understood right to avoid this problem only uh, first i need to go to open folder uh, where is my project uh, angular apps so what is my project name payroll okay uh, select this okay now if you are selecting this by default here payroll is there right now go to your terminal okay uh, go to your terminal La let us see now see where, where it is there till payroll is there right now if you uh, start the project tell me how to do it ma ng server hyphen hyphen open okay now this time it will work fine so now uh, like one of the guys asking sir why my project is not working because you are not in the correct path this all the mistakes we will do in the starting time okay okay that is fine so that is not a problem okay L like this we can start it. ng server hyphen hyphen open okay so yesterday we have discussed what is the each folder right what is angular ma that is auto generated folder but for angular purpose what is the node modules ma this is a library we will keep all the libraries inside the node modules uh, and this is automatically generated by angular so we don't need to uh, remember about that one okay okay that is fine and what about src all our source code will be there in the src only okay and what about angular.json ma it is very very important i told you right uh, so all of what is my project name what is the version and where is my source code and all, yeah, every information will be there inside the angular.json only and what about package or package.json ma whatever the libraries you are going to use for our project all this information where it will be there inside the package.json only how many dependent type types are there in the inside the package two types one is a dependencies second is a dev dependencies what is the dependencies dev dependencies ma to running the project whatever the libraries are required that is called a dependencies to develop the project whatever the libraries are required that is called a dev dependencies okay important interview question now okay that is fine so whenever we are downloading our project what is the first command we should run npm install so automatically this all libraries will be installing it okay that is fine now we have done all these things okay okay now we'll go we'll open here and i want to see my output okay so let me go to my angular apps okay payroll okay src now i want to here right okay here what i want to do what is the first name it is having my app is there okay so this is a let us forget about app and what is the second thing we have it ma so now my project is started it is welcome start angular okay this is fine and there is an important interview question called what is angular flow okay they definitely they will ask how angular will work if this html just double click it it will work right but how angular will work that is a question they are going to ask it okay please uh, listen this careful okay so now uh, what we want to do is first let us understand this folders again inside it then we'll go for a concept directly okay so this app is there right so let us forget about app now uh, what is the second folder ma assets assets okay so in the html project in the angular project whenever you want to add i, I have asked you to write one uh, login form right uh, left side some uh, box and right side some image right uh, anybody completed that page ma okay uh, okay i'll see that uh, page so if you want to do that if you want, you want to load the images right uh, so whatever the images you want to keep it uh, you have to paste inside the assets folder ma okay where, what what are the things you are where you have to do it ma assets okay 
suppose you want to keep your assets assets means uh, like uh, any third party javascript libraries or all our images our project images everything we have to keep inside the assets folder only okay so assets will not write any code but will place our images uh, whatever the uh, things support for our project will keep inside the assets okay for now it is not there we'll add one one image here okay that is fine and environments is there right uh, okay inside the environment there are two files are there ma one environment dot prod dot ts another environment dot ts okay so environment means uh, like uh, whether you are running your locally or whether you are running as a website there is a two different right uh, website means uh, everybody can uh, using it uh, you are developing means a uh, local host who will use it only you can use it correct right uh, so whenever you want to do any configuration we can do this configuration inside the environment okay so that is fine and there is favicon.ico what is this favicon everybody know right okay and index.html i'll tell you about it okay so uh, after that there is a main.ts is there what is this file ma main.ts okay that is fine and there is a polyfill.ts right okay so angular is like a responsive and it will work in all the browsers angular will work on the so suppose you are writing one code in html that is there is no guarantee that that code will work on the all the browsers okay that code will not work on the all the browsers you are writing same html code only but there is no guarantee that it will work on the all the browsers to do this we need to write a some concept called polyfills okay by default there is a polyfills.ts they in the angular they have added that means what they will do what whatever the code you have written they will convert this code to according to the browser suppose this browser is like a edge browser they will try to convert your code like to the supported format to the edge and they will convert it to the chrome format so they internally they will do everything we know we have to write our code only but our code will be convert internally convert into respect to browser format so, so that will be done by whom polyfills that is that is also already available so that is the reason we no need to do anything but if you want to add any polyfills library we can add it here okay so for now what we can think is polyfill is like a to support all the browsers that information will keep in the polyfills but we will not touch anything over there okay and what is the styles that css ma okay do you know how to write a global styles ma in html we will go how many ways we can import our styles ma three ways what are the ways inline internal external right so whenever you are going for external what you will do uh, we will place all the common styles right okay this styles dot css is nothing but a your global css file in the entire project whatever the styles you are common that files you should keep in the styles dot css okay you understood suppose i am writing a login form i don't want to keep this styles in other page don't paste it here but i want the same style in the first page second page third page then where should you, where you should keep here you should keep in the styles dot s if you are keeping one place that's all you can keep you can use in all the entire project anywhere you can use it okay that is a fine and last is the test.ts file ma this is for only unit testing file okay unit testing we are not going to do with anything with the unit testing so this is not required okay and what are the two important files ma main.ts and index data html this is the most most important files uh, we are going to learn about it okay i will open this index.html let us see what is there any output is coming no output okay yeah but if you remove this uh, index.html your project will not work out 100 percent your our angular application will not work out without this file angular will not work out but if i open it also there is no output then what is use ma okay so we are going to discuss about it okay okay so let me uh, let us go with the uh, uh, details ma okay okay so uh, i will open this index.html file let us see what is there inside first okay uh, i am going here and i am opening an index.html file let us see what is there ma if you say observe it what is there first time what is there doc type what is the doc type uh, what it will say it will receive what is the html version we are using that is okay and we are saying head header tag what is the header tag ma to write the styles and everything right uh, if you see what are the what are they are using a meta tag okay and title tag okay and tightly they are using payroll right and they are using meta tag input is equal to width right okay angular is a responsive angle first point we have an interview question right angular is used to develop a responsive web pages we are saying a responsive web pages to do this responsive web pages you need to add this meta tag okay and you have added this include tag also right that everything is fine 
and what is another thing we have it ma so body tag body tag everybody know what is a body tag right what is a body tag we'll write a body and what is this app root ma what is this tag anywhere have you written any tag like app root in html in entire html course we did not read anything like a app root then what is this component okay okay this is something like we are root we are writing some name because we don't know that what is the tag name itself right so whenever we are loading this in the normal browser this will not understand browser will not understand anything about that tag okay that is some special tag from the angular that's that is some special tag from the angular okay okay so now uh, let us what i will do i'll go and i'll inspect the page okay i'm going to inspect the page and uh, let us go to the network let us reload the page okay so uh, see first page uh, first page whenever we are opening first page right it is coming the first page it is returning is a our index right html only whenever your angular application is loading first which one it will load ma your index right html only that is the reason if your index right html is not there your project will not work out okay but sir nothing is there right whenever i am opening here nothing i am able to display right right i will tell you why you will not able to display it. so first time uh, what will happen whenever you are loading what will happen uh, it will load the which page uh, index data html page okay so whenever it is opening index data html page uh, it will open like this ma. okay and what is the tag we are having it ma app root app root right browser by default no don't know the tag right so browser will go to angular hey angular what is this tag i don't know please tell me what is this tag and give me some information okay now uh, you copy this tag name okay copy this tag name and what i will do i will go here and so i will go to my app component so yesterday you have opened app component and you added some output right i will go to here and you see there is a selector called what is the name we are having it app root okay we are having app root right so whenever we are saying app root tag internally what angular will do it will think if with this name there is one component there is a one component we have it it will look for that component where is that component okay we'll say what is the component everything will go in the in detail okay so first step what it will do will go where it will go ma it will go to the index data html okay index data html uh, inside the index data html what is the tag we have written app root okay app root so this app root it will go to component here okay uh, inside the component there is a selector called app root what is the selector ma app root so we are having it right so automatically it will display that name okay so here we have find it one tag name and here we have written some template url ma what is the url we are giving it hey app root dot html now i will go to my html what is the code you are writing here welcome to angular so that is the reason whenever you are loading this is coming it okay this is okay right okay like this it will identify first it will go to your index.html then it will go to the tag and what is the tag you are giving it ma some app root so it will go to the app root component and it will go to the what is the html and inside the what is the html you are writing it will display like this okay everything is fine right now like this applied hello hello yes ma sir uh, in app dot uh, component dot html only we need to write every coding right Yes, yes, every coding we have to write it here. That is only for uh, another one hour. After one hour, we are not going to do like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now uh, everything where we have written our code my inside the app dot HTML writer. Okay. App dot component. Now uh, let us go for another thing. There is a main dot ts file. Okay. There is a main dot ts file here. What will happen is uh, first thing is so whenever uh, this is okay. Angular will identify the component, right? But how Angular knows that that component is there? We know that app root is there. With that root, it will go into the component. It will look for that value. If it is there, it will match, right? But how Angular knows that? It need to go to that place and it need to identify that. That needs some help, okay? For that reason, if I, I told you that there is an Angular JSON file, right? There is an Angular JSON file, right? If you go to your Angular JSON. Here there is a file called main main. Okay, here we have written now. What is the file we are writing? Main is equal to src slash main dot ts. Okay, and now what is the file we are giving index here? Index dot html. In interview they will ask like this. I will change my index dot html to some other name. Can we change it or not? Yes, sir. We can change it. There is no problem. But we need to update in the uh, Angular dot 
json file if you are keeping view.html file i need to keep here view.html file i can go here and i can change my index to view.html anything is fine but where you need to update you need to update in the angular data js okay that is fine and there is another entry called main right main.ts so first angular will go to this file ma what is my main file here main.ts okay uh, let us close all the things uh, and let us go to main.ts okay i will go here okay and what is this file ma .ts i will explain what this dot and all these things uh, in a one time okay so here what is the problem here is uh, there is a uh, here we are seeing some lines ma import and uh, this bracket and we are seeing this one right uh, so what is this import means uh, we are we want to uh, import this library this file is from the this library we want this import this enable mode uh, one function is there we want to import this uh, function from the another library okay so some this is like import statements uh, we will do our own imports also then we will understand what is this uh, import and uh, export okay here there is a uh, there is a code called platform dynamic uh, and there is a bootstrap model uh, there is a model called app model what is the name we are having it ma app model so if you are opening here uh, it will open a one model ma so what is the model it is opening ma app model from where we are opening it ma main data ts so main data ts it is going for the app model i will understand what it is there each and everything will understand it okay yeah inside the app model uh, okay here uh, what is the thing we are having it ma uh, export to class a uh, class name okay what is the name we are having it ma export to export me why we have to write export means uh, suppose we are writing two files ma first file and second file i want to use my for this class in a second file i want to use my class in a second file whenever you want to use in the second class uh, i have to use a keyword called export then only i can use it in a another class otherwise i cannot uh, use it and what is this class ma anywhere we have discussed this class uh, last javascript class we have discussed class right uh, how will you write a class uh, class uh, class name class a class name okay so now i have written a class a class name correct right and there is a module now okay so this is a this is coming from the angular ma okay this is a ng model is coming from my angular here we are saying what is the declaration we are writing some declarations and what is another thing we have added a uh, import and now what is another way we are having a uh, providers and what is the last thing we have it a uh, bootstrap okay we will discuss about each thing inside the import what is the import we have it a uh, app component if you go to app component what is our selector uh, app root okay so what will happen is by default we have to register all components in this file okay whatever the component i am going to write it uh, all components i am going to write it uh, i need to register in the declarations okay declaration sir what is this component we are not able to understand this component right so we are going to learn about the component only in a two minutes okay so now whatever the code we are going to write it first we need to register our component to the angular hey angular i have written one component okay whenever you i am using some tag app hyphen uh, header app hyphen footer app hyphen sidebar so you go to this file and check it i want to give that information to the angular so that information i will i will add it inside the declaration section ma okay that information i will add in the declaration section if i am adding here only then only angular will know that that is a component okay sir what is this component what is this model everything we are getting confused okay just give me two minutes we'll explain it okay okay so so far now what we have understood right so there is one file called main.ts there we'll have a one model name called app model if you go to app model and here we have, we have written some code and where we are going to register our lines this is what we understood right so now instead of going there uh, what i want to do i want to write a my own component i don't want to use a app component okay i don't want to use a app some some there are something is there right here we have uh, app component at routing and all these things is there right we don't want to do all this complex we want to do a very very simple one okay so first what i will do i will create a folder with the components ma okay so this is only one time don't do it first time okay i'm creating a folder called a components okay okay so let us do it inside the component what i want to do i want to write a header i want to write a header okay i will say that name is a header component okay so i'm going to create another folder okay create another folder ma header so uh, next time suppose i want to add a folder i'll go to my header components okay let us go to header component here okay so in angular each component into divide into three parts ma how many parts ma three parts okay 
this is very very important okay so first part is a html second part is a css file okay okay and uh, third part is a ts file okay fourth part is like a spec.ts file okay how many how many files uh, we are having it ma four files okay mainly we can say four uh, okay we can say four so each component will be dividing into how many parts ma four parts in html how many files will write we will write only one and we will write one script tag we will write all the things right here we will not do like this okay everything we will divide it into four parts and we are going to do in a four ways okay so first i will explain what is this html whatever the html code we are going to write it we are going to write inside the html file okay that is clear and second thing Hello. Hello. Uh, there is a power problem here. Ma. Let's start. Save it. Okay. 